I'm going to show you some examples of uh, lighting and uh, using the existing natural light that we have in the environment because that is much easier than to have lots of lights and so on and uh, if you really look on the image and move around a little bit to find the good perfect or best light then you can achieve quite good lighting even if you don't have any uh, lighting set. Uh, for this uh, small demo I am in my office as you see in the background here and I have a quite big window and the sun is coming in through this window and I have some light curtain there so let's see how it looks when I go over there and I can also show you that I have a big reflector screen like this one uh, a big uh, reflector and that one will be very good as we'll see also if I sit over here by the window, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty strong light coming from the window. It is almost like sunlight, but a little bit diffused. And if I face the light like this, uh, it is actually a little bit too strong. It's not really comfortable. You can see that I squint with my eyes. And it's quite boring light also, it kind of straight into the face and doesn't really show any shadows in a good way. So if I turn a little bit, you see that uh, now there's, there is a shadow coming on the side here. And it gives some more modulation to the face. Uh, but of course you should be careful about this shadow from the nose that can look quite strange sometimes so either you can use this light where you have a small shadow from from the nose or you can turn around like this and have a light that comes quite much from the side maybe letting a little bit light fall here on the cheek to give to give modulation to the face because one of the purposes with the lighting is to give shape to the uh, the thing that you are shooting in this case my head and uh, to give it a shape to let the audience really see the shape of uh, a head for example then you need the shadows to kind of uh, portray that that shape so maybe something like this is an okay light uh, a little bit strong maybe a little bit too sharp but perfectly okay if I turn around more like this, uh, the lighting gets more, dr gets more dramatic when it comes from the side. And this can be, well, let's see, this kind of light might be okay, but the dark side is way too dark. And this is where the reflector comes in. Because if I put up the reflector and put it quite close to me, about one meter, a little bit less, then you see that the refl reflector is casting light back on my face. Uh, in this case, I use the golden side, so it's a very yellow light. Uh, I can also turn it around and use the white side to have a neutral gray light. I can also try to have this light coming from the bottom a little bit like this. And then we have a lighting that might be a little bit better like this maybe then if you really need dramatic light i can try to go like this so i have a light a soft light from the front a little bit weak but i have this rim light that you see on the left side here of of my face where the the strong light from the back is kind of giving a profile to my face but in order for this to work I really need something more than just a reflector I would have needed a light uh, actually and what we have demonstrated here is that uh, the direct sunlight uh, even if it is a little bit filtered here the direct sunlight is a little bit too harsh 
it can be okay, but uh, it's, uh, it's harsh. If I go over to another shear here, uh, I can get into the shadow over here like this. And as you see, just by seating myself in the shadow, the light is much softer on my face. And uh, personally, I think this is much better lighting. And if I turn around here, I can get a soft light straight on, which is quite boring. Or I can turn around a little bit like this. And yeah, maybe this is a good lighting. Uh, quite strong from the side. Uh, and the shadow here is not very dark. And it's not direct sunlight, but it's a little bit diffuse. And if I move, yeah, something like this maybe. And as you see here, I also have a good soft background or, or discrete background. As you can see, I'm outside now. And uh, besides the wind on the microphone, I also have some very strong sunlight. And uh, the strong sunlight is really bad for, for lighting, especially on a face. Uh, so I'm moving over into the shadow. And in the shadow, if I turn around like this, uh, now I'm facing the blue sky. And as you see, there is quite much uh, blue in my face. And I can turn around like this. And somewhat, somewhat, somewhat here, I have a quite good uh, gray light from the back and then I have uh, quite much red soft lighting from the other side and uh, if you only, only look at this gray scale this is a quite nice soft light and it comes not from the front because if I take it from the front it lo looks quite boring but if I get the soft reflected light from the side it kind of modulates my face. And then the, the other side of the face have this soft but reddish light. Uh, and uh, it's of course not very good to have this red light, but we can color grade that as we will see later on. Um, so that is possible to fix. But the gray scales of the image has to be good because it's very difficult to fix grayscale. If you, for example, have a very strong uh, contrast like this, uh, that's uh, more or less um, impossible to fix. Sometimes you have to be inside a room without any windows and then you have to stick to the light, the artificial light. And uh, you could have uh, a lighting set that gives strong light, but actually the lighting set often gives too strong light. So it's a little bit hard to control. And if you are in a room like this, a closed room without windows, you can actually make do with the lighting that you have, the, the existing artificial light. Uh, as you can see on my face here, the lighting is quite blonde, uh, but that's a good foundation or good start that we have a soft light and uh, you can see that when I move around in the room like this it changes a little bit so it's good to move around and see where the best lighting is and this this soft light is uh, a little bit too boring maybe so I have simple table lamps here nothing fancy but I can use them to give some more uh, modulation a light from 45 degree in front of me to give a little bit shadow in the face. And then another light from the side as well to give a little bit more uh, strength in the light. And also a little bit difference between the brighter side and the shadow side. side. Uh, so this lighting can be okay for this room at least.